Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Saturday, January 30th, 2021. Free pick in college basketball coming up on this report. Also, a seven-star play in college basketball going on for me today. Part of a three-game package over at DocSports.com. We swept last Saturday. You know how well we've done all season long. If you've been with me, we've been winning left and right. Uh, and the seven-star plays are 83% on the season. My plays rated, rated five stars and higher are now hitting at a six 66% winning clip. On the season overall, we are up over $5,400 for $100 per unit better. So a lot going on in college basketball. And you can grab the package over at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. Get all three college basketball sides for Saturday. We'll look to sweep for the second straight Saturday. And we'll look to cash that seven-star play. Seven-star main event over on my homepage. Now, here's something pretty cool. A little bit of an offer from DocSports.com only on Saturday. It's only good for today. It starts at 7.30 a.m. Eastern, and it goes right through 10 p.m. Eastern. So Saturday, 7.30 a.m. Eastern, 4.30 a.m. Pacific, right through 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. One day, you can get 30% off any daily or weekly sport, active sport from any handicapper of your choice. In fact, you can use it on as many cappers as you like, including me, at DocSports.com. And again, only today, only on Saturday. The promo code is SAT30. SAT30, SAT30. Write down that code. And just for an example, if you go to my homepage, you click on one of those packages that I mentioned, daily or weekly package, and then it's going to ask you for a code. Again, that code is SAT30, 30% off any daily or weekly package of any active sport from as many handicappers as you want at DocSports.com on a Saturday only. Not bad. All right, guys, again, what I mentioned uh, just a minute ago is we had that seven-star play. It's three-game package for me in Saturday's college basketball. Swept last week's. So let's rack it up and do it again today on Saturday. Let's cash another seven-star play. And let's take this run since the start of the season to up over $6,000 for $100 per unit players. You can jump on board with me over at DocSports.com on my handicappers homepage. And we've also got NBA. Uh, and, and that's available on Saturday. We've got NHL. By the way, I passed in yesterday's lone NHL game. We are 7-1 and one with our last eight NHL plays, up over $2,000 for $100 per unit betters. You can check that out. Going to pass today at PGA, but I'll be back in final round action uh, on Sunday. I'm 99% sure of that as the things start to set themselves up. All right, let's get to our free play for today. You heard what we got going on Saturday. I'm looking at the Big East battle between Villanova and Seton Hall this game goes around 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, and I just don't know how Seton Hall is going to be able to bounce back. Uh, not just physically, but between the years after what happened to them against the Creighton Blue Jays the other day. Uh, Seton Hall had a 16-point lead midway through the second half and fell apart because the Creighton Blue Jays, under the coaching of Greg McDermott, switched to a zone. I mean, almost straight-up zone, and Seton Hall had no answer for it. They collapsed. They fell apart. They couldn't overcome the zone. Next thing you know, they're down. They end up losing the game by four points. If you had the Blue Jays, you got a cover that looked dead to rights with about 10 minutes to go in the second half. But the bottom line is, I don't know how they recover from that. They're going up against a team that I have ranked. You hardly hear about Villanova this year. They're ranked in my power ratings top 10. Ken Palm has them, I think, sixth or fifth in his power ratings. And they're just uh, basically kind of flying under the radar, which is unusual for a Villanova team. But that's the case right now. When I look at this Villanova team and I'm checking out all their metrics, especially on the offensive end of things, they're number four in adjusted efficiency offense. They're number 38 in adjusted defensive uh, defense of efficiency. You look at what they've done shooting-wise. They are 28th in effective field goal percentage on the offensive end. How about this? Number one in college basketball in turnover percentage on the offensive end. They've had a week now to be able to kick back and do nothing but relax and get ready while Seton Hall is coming off that heartbreaking loss to the Creighton Blue Jays. I'm going to go with Villanova here. We're going to recommend a play on Villanova uh, minus the points over Seton Hall. And again, don't forget the seven-star college basketball side tops my three-play package in college baskets on Saturday. That is the star of the show. A couple of day games in that mix and one evening game, so check it out. All right, that's going to do it for me for today. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column right back here late Saturday night with the play from Sunday's card. We'll talk to you then.